We made it to this waterfall. I'm not sure which one this is, but it's outside of Yosemite National Park and it was really easy to get here. I mean, we already drove all the way here, so we had to come and see it. Damn, look how nice it is. After a strenuous hike on day two of our trip, we decided to take it easy for day three. Our main attraction for the day is to see the sunset at Glacier Point and possibly shoot the Milky Way if we're not too tired. Before noon, we stopped by the Corlu Falls, which is part of the Sierra National Forest to see some waterfalls. Yosemite was very dry when we visited, so it was so nice to see so much water at the Corlu Falls. The falls is approximately 25 minutes from our Airbnb and 15 minutes from the Yosemite entrance. It didn't require much hiking before seeing the falls, so it was the perfect morning stroll for our family. Alright, that's it. A super quick shoot because Stephanie's family is still waiting, so I think we got all we need, so we're heading on back now. <laughs> we did not go to this. <laughs> okay, let's just go. We just got to Glacial Point. Glacial Point, and we already saw a huge glacial valley. That'll be our first stop. And then our second stop would be the Centennial Dome. Supposedly, you get a 360 view of Yosemite. <laughs> In the afternoon, we headed to Glacier Point to begin our hike to the Centennial Dome Summit. The trail was relatively easy, except for the last stretch where the climb was steeper. I really enjoyed the forest portion of the hike, especially during golden hour. Our last stretch! <laughs> no one wants to say anything because we're all out of breath. <laughs> Almost there. The hardest point five miles. <laughs> <laughs> We're almost there. Almost to the top. <laughs> I need to grip. <laughs> We had to leave the summit fairly quickly because we wanted to be back at Glacier Point for sunset. But I think in the future, staying at Centennial Dome for sunset might be a better idea. Glacier Point was well maintained and easy to access from the parking lot. We enjoyed the sandwiches we packed to the sunset and decided to stay to shoot the Milky Way. It happened to be the new moon that day. It was my first time shooting the Milky Way, so it was a lot of fun. The sky was full of stars and you can definitely see a few shooting stars here and there. It was a mesmerizing experience that I would recommend to everyone. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.